Once I had seen the ultrasound, and I see, and I knew the lies that they were lying to women. I was devastated. I felt so much guilt. I went from church to church. I went to counselors. I went to friends. I says, they're lying. It's a baby. And at that time, not many people had seen ultrasound. And here, this is what I'm doing. And they weren't aware of post-abortion syndrome. And they'd say, just get over it, Sherry. Go on with your life. It's fine. But I couldn't. I had this big hole in me. And I didn't know what to do. And what I was suffering is what we know as post-abortion syndrome. Many women are suffering from that. And the stories are all the same. Different stories, but the same pain, the same lies. There was about six of us in this dark room. And I remember thinking, why aren't these women sad? Why aren't they crying? And I was mad at them that they weren't sad. But then after I had the next one, I realized that I wasn't sad anymore either. I was just so emotionless. I didn't have anything left in me to give up to anybody. Not even for myself. After I aborted my first child, Molly, I, I was lost. I was a lost soul. I aborted actually three additional babies. That day, literally a part of me died. And my life just began to spin downwards. I began doing drugs. I began drinking. It was that I entered into more sexual relationships because I thought that even that type of sexual relationship would replace the pain. And then it would also help me to have another child to replace the baby that I had killed. And so I became pregnant again, and I aborted. I became pregnant again, and I aborted. And it ended up that I was on this nightmare of an abortion mill that I had aborted six times. And I never thought that when I was a little girl that I would ever do this. I never thought in my life would end up that I had taken the life of six of my children. Mother sits beside her bed, not knowing what to say. Share your words of life and hope. And women are not the only ones that are hurting. It's the men. It's amazing when I speak and I have men come up with tears in their eyes about a previous abortion that they paid for or that they wanted to keep, but they don't have any rights. And they couldn't even save their own baby. The stories are amazing. I cried out and I asked him, heal me, heal my womb so I can have a baby. Heal my heart so I don't have to be filled with this pain and grief. I want to help other women so that they never have to go through the lies that I was told. I want to show them the babies. I said, use me, God, use me to share the truth. And that month I conceived the first of my three boys. Sometimes it may seem like we are worlds apart And the distance between us is more than miles and aching hearts Sometimes it may seem impossible to change Change will come, just come close, you'll begin to understand Come close Come a little closer Come close to me And you will feel my heart Please don't leave me when I'm down Help me turn my life around be my friend Can you feel me with your heart? Can you see the way I need you? I am reaching out to you Can you feel it too? Come close Come 
come close to me and you will feel my heart I will be there for you I won't leave you And God reminded me of the promise I made that I wanted to help other women and men to show, share the truth about what abortion is, to show the ultrasounds. I was afraid to share my testimony. I was afraid what people would think. But one by one, as I'd share my story about what my abortion did to me, others would come forth and say, I went through the same thing. Or they would hear the stories of God's grace and healing. And now we have millions of women and men through Silent No More and Operation Outcry, sharing their stories, changing hearts. And your babies, they're watching you from heaven and they love you. The Lord has, has blessed my husband and myself with a wonderful, with a wonderful ministry of, of being able to take in pregnant teens and be able to show them a practical way of being able to keep their babies through, through everything it's bad, the Lord will bless you if you choose life. And that's what we want to do. We want to be able to help these young girls. Silent, no more. And I believe that those babies that are, are aborted their lives were not in vain as they are praying, praying for God to forgive us, to forgive our nation, to forgive our mothers and our fathers, to heal the wounds. And I truly believe that love is key and God is going to come back to restore this nation back to Him. Mm -hmm.